Every day, Samsung sells more than 700,000 mobile phones around the world, which translates to a daily profit of more than $70 million. To achieve this, each of Samsung's 50 factories works tirelessly to create these devices that we all use for hours and hours every day. But how are these phones manufactured? How is it possible that they are manufactured in such large quantities while maintaining their exceptional quality? Well, today we will travel to South Korea, the location of the largest Samsung phone factory in the world. There we will discover the entire process that each device goes through, from the initial design to its final assembly, to create the high-tech device that reaches millions of people every day. So, get ready, because we are going to discover how Samsung phones are mass-produced. Let's begin! Step number one, design and prototypes. Everything begins with the creation of the design. For Samsung, design is not just an aesthetic matter, but also involves optimizing the phone's functions to perfectly adapt to the user's needs and offer a smooth experience. The design and engineering teams work together, creating a digital prototype that shapes every aspect of the phone, the screen, the camera, the battery, and all the internal components. The design of a Samsung phone begins with hand sketches, where the main lines of the phone are drawn, its shape, the screen size, and the location of the buttons. As the ideas take shape, the designers move on to computer-aided design, where every line, every curve, and every part of the phone is precisely adjusted. The design of a Samsung phone can go through more than 100 prototypes before reaching the final model. This means that, of the thousands of initial designs, only a few manage to become the device that finally reaches the market. Once the design is complete and approved, the manufacture of the components that will form the device begins. This is the beginning of a highly technological process, and each part is manufactured with almost surgical precision. The first crucial component that is manufactured is the screen. Let's see how this key piece is produced. Step number two, screen manufacturing. The screen is one of the most important components of a Samsung phone, especially with its innovative Super AMOLED panels. These panels provide vibrant colors, deep blacks, and are key to an immersive user experience. The process begins with the creation of a support layer, onto which a thin layer of phosphorescent material is placed, responsible for producing the colors and light of the screen. This layer is then placed on a thin sheet of glass or flexible plastic, depending on the type of device. Screens are manufactured in large rolls, which facilitates the cutting of the necessary pieces for each device. The manufacturing process of AMOLED screens requires great precision. The screens must be perfectly flat, without bubbles or imperfections, and be capable of producing such a high resolution that some of them reach 4K resolution, surpassing the quality of most televisions. Once manufactured, the screens undergo a series of rigorous tests, such as color testing and resistance testing. It is verified that each screen maintains high color fidelity and excellent visibility, even in direct sunlight. With the screens ready and approved, it's time to move on to the next step in the manufacturing process, the creation of the motherboard and the internal components of the phone. Let's take a look. Step number three, manufacturing the motherboard and internal components. Once the screens are ready, the next step is the manufacture of the motherboard. This component is essential as it connects all the internal circuits of the phone, including the memory, the processor, the battery, and the sensors. Motherboards are manufactured through an automated process, in which large printers precisely print the electrical paths onto a copper sheet. Then, the copper is coated with a layer of epoxy resin, which helps to keep the electrical signals stable and protected from heat and humidity. Interestingly, the manufacture of a motherboard for a smartphone like the Samsung Galaxy S can involve the use of more than 20 layers of different materials that combine to form the functional base of the phone. Although this process is mostly automated, operators carefully supervise to ensure that everything is aligned correctly and without errors. Samsung uses its own brand of processing chips, such as Exynos, which manage all the phone's operations. However, it also uses chips from other popular brands, such as Qualcomm and MediaTek. The impressive thing is that these chips are manufactured on 7 nanometer processors, which means that each component on the chip is so small that it is almost invisible to the naked eye. 
This miniaturization allows the phone to be extremely powerful without increasing its size, which contributes to incredible performance and greater energy efficiency. With the internal components ready and the motherboard perfectly assembled, it's time to move on to the next step, the assembly of all the internal components. Let's go! Step number four, component assembly. Once all the components have been manufactured, it's time to place them into the phone. In Samsung's factories, operators assemble the parts mainly manually, although many of the tasks are assisted by robots, which bring precision and speed to the process. Specialized workers place the motherboard in its place, connecting the processor, RAM memory modules, the battery, and all the phone's sensors. It is here where the phone begins to take shape, and the operators ensure that all components are perfectly aligned. One of the most delicate steps of the assembly is the installation of the camera. The camera is carefully assembled into its corresponding module, which includes the sensor, the lens, and the flash. This process requires precision, as each piece must be aligned to ensure high image quality. Operators verify that the rear camera and the front camera are correctly integrated, ensuring that there are no defects in the module. A conveyor belt runs through the entire process, taking each phone to different stations where the parts are assembled with great precision. Operators carefully check all the details, such as the alignment of the screen, buttons, and cameras, to ensure that everything is in place and works perfectly. One of the most impressive moments of the assembly is when operators install the battery. Samsung uses high-capacity lithium batteries with a multi-stage safety process to prevent any risk of overheating. This battery is what will allow your phone to last up to an entire day with intensive use. With all the components assembled and ready, the next step is the software installation and functional testing. Let's take a look. Step number five, software, installation and initial configuration. Now that the phone is assembled, the next step is to install the Android operating system. Operators load Android onto each device, ensuring that the software is fully optimized for Samsung's hardware. This includes the installation of essential applications, such as Samsung's customization tools that allow users to adapt the interface to their preferences. This process is carried out through automated systems that install the software quickly and efficiently. Afterward, the phone begins to configure itself automatically, with options such as the initial configuration of accounts and preferences. Operators monitor this process to ensure that everything is installed correctly and that the phone is ready for daily use. The impressive thing about this step is that, during installation, it is ensured that all the phone's functions are perfectly integrated. From notifications and pre-installed applications to customization settings, all software must be ready to offer a smooth user experience from the first power on. Once the software is installed and configured, the phone goes through a series of functional tests where all the phone's components are verified, such as the screen, camera, and processor, ensuring that everything works perfectly. Step number six, quality tests and final control. Quality tests are the final and crucial stage in the manufacturing process of a Samsung phone. Operators perform a final series of exhaustive evaluations to ensure that the device meets the highest quality standards. The phone's functionalities are verified, such as battery life, camera quality, device resistance in extreme use conditions, and connectivity with Wi-Fi, 4G, and 5G networks. One of the most interesting tests is the drop test. Although not all phones pass it, some are subjected to controlled drops from different heights to verify their resistance. Samsung conducts such rigorous tests that some of its phones can survive up to 50 drops without suffering damage. This step also includes software verification to ensure that all personalized functions, such as notifications and Samsung tools, are installed correctly and work without problems. If the phone passes all tests, it's time to move on to the next step, final packaging and distribution, where the device is prepared to be shipped to the global market. Let's take a look. Step number seven. Packaging and Distribution Once the phone has passed the quality tests, it's time to package it for distribution. The phones are placed in their final boxes, along with all the essential accessories, such as the charger, headphones, and user instructions. The boxes are sealed and labeled with the necessary information for shipping. The phones are grouped into large shipping containers, ready to be distributed worldwide. Every hour, more than 50,000 Samsung phones are packaged and prepared to be shipped to different parts of the planet. From physical stores to online platforms, Samsung phones make their way to points of sale, thanks to a highly efficient and technologically advanced logistics process. 
The manufacturing of a Samsung phone is an incredibly sophisticated process, involving everything from design to final quality tests. Each step is optimized to create a high-end device, from the screen to the battery, with millimeter precision. To finish, tell us, were you surprised by everything involved in manufacturing a Samsung phone? Have you ever owned one? Leave us your answer in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more amazing manufacturing processes.